Thanks for stopping by Lifestyle with Melanie Graves, where I share stylish and creative ideas to help you do what makes you happy in your home. With fall in the air and football season kicking off, today I'm sharing some of our game day favorites that are sure to be a touchdown at your next gathering. I'll be bringing in the flavor with a savory versus sweet showdown, and I'm giving each snack its own football position. To top it off, I'll be arranging everything on this super cute mini football field serving tray that I found at Marshall's. Let's dive in to our game day lineup. Let's get started with our offensive line. We're going to start with our quarterback first up which is a delicious barbecue flatbread that I make um, with leftover chicken that I had from earlier in the week. I pick up some flatbread in the deli section of uh, Target. This is Stone Fire, and it comes in a package of two. And all I'm going to do is chop up my chicken. We are going to flavor this up a little bit and pop it in the toaster oven for a few minutes. So delicious. Just like a good quarterback, this snack is all about balance and delivering big flavors. We're talking about crispy flatbread, tangy barbecue sauce, juicy chicken, some extras that we enjoy. It's the playmaker of the party and always a fan favorite. To get things started, preheat the oven to 425. You can either prep this snack on a baking sheet like I'm doing here for a softer flatbread or you can do it directly on the rack for a crispier crust. I start by spreading some extra virgin olive oil all over the flatbread, and then I'm gonna start layering it first with a layer of barbecue sauce. And then I chopped up some of our leftover chicken. This is a great way to use your leftovers without the same food feeling boring. So you'll get your chicken spread out nice and thin, evenly distributed all over the flatbread. And then we're going to add our favorite toppings. So I am adding some onion, adding pineapple, adding in some pepperoncini, topping it off with one of our favorites, which is feta cheese. And then I'm going to drizzle a little balsamic vinegar over the top and pop it in the oven. Looking good already. We're going to let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how crispy you want it. And once it comes out of the oven, I'm going to top it off with some fresh arugula and a, another drizzle of balsamic vinegar. Next up, meet our running back, a savory sausage dip that's as hearty as it is delicious. This dip is all about power, moving the chains, and keeping everyone satisfied. It only takes three ingredients, super easy to make you're gonna throw it in your crock pot so i've got my small crock here ready to go and for the sausage dip you are going to need one package of uh, your premium pork sausage i'm using jimmy dean's you're going to need um, two packs of cream cheese eight ounce cream cheese and one can of rotel okay so easy and so delicious so the first thing i'm going to do is pop my cream cheese into the crock and let that start warming up. And then I'm gonna brown my sausage and put that in. And then I'm gonna mix in some Rotel on top and let it go and it's gonna be so yummy. So you'll first add in your, your two packages of cream cheese. Then you're gonna cook your sausage and you're gonna add that on top. And then finally you wanna add your can of drained Rotel. I like for it to be drained because we want this to be like hearty. We don't want it to be soupy. So we drain it and we add that in. Now in a minute, I'm going to mix this up, but I'm going to let it warm up just a little bit more first so my cheese can be nice and melted. Then I'm going to give it a good stir, turn it on high. It should be done in about an hour and a half. So now my cheese is a little melted. It's been cooking for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna stir everything up really well and set it aside. It usually takes mine about an hour and a half when I cook it on high. You wanna watch it though because it can burn if you let it go too long. So just keep your eye out on it. And of course, every good running back needs a wide receiver. You can't go wrong with these scoop chips for the dip. They're the unsung heroes, grabbing every bit of that savory sausage dip and making sure you don't miss a bite. 
And then, of course, there's our vegetables to finish off offense. They're essential but not flashy, just like your reliable offensive linemen. You need them on the field, and they're probably not going to steal the show, but they're definitely playing a crucial role in balancing out all these rich flavors. Okay, now let's talk defense, because what's a good game day without some sweet treats to finish off strong, right? So for our defense, I'm making apple pie bites. They are very easy to make, they're very delicious. I'll put the entire recipe down in the description box, but you're gonna start uh, by preheating your oven to 375. I'm actually gonna pop these in the toaster oven. And you are going to need uh, one tube of Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. I'm gonna open those up and spread them out on your baking sheet. And then I'm using one small Granny Smith apple. I'm gonna pour some melted butter over that and mix it in. And then before the apples go on, I'm going to add a brown sugar and apple pie spice mixture over the crescent rolls. Next, I am adding some chopped pecans. I'm just going to sprinkle those all over. And finally, I'll add an apple slice on the wide end of each triangle and wrap the crescent roll dough around each apple. And then you're going to place those in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown. And then if you want to add more on the defense, you can definitely serve this with some vanilla ice cream or caramel syrup. With this winning lineup of savory and sweet snacks, your game day spread is bound to be a hit. Whether you're all about the offense or you love a good defensive play, there's something for everyone on this team. And before I say goodbye, we need to announce the winner of last week's giveaway, which is a $50 e-gift card. Congratulations to at aspiring to home make. You are the winner of the gift card. So please shoot me an email to claim it. And in the comment section, I'd love to know, are you team sweet or team savory? And give a shout out to your teams. You guys know I'm a Buccaneers girl and I love my FSU Seminoles, even if we're off to a very bad start. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you then. Love and peace.